Hello there, Reject Nation. I'm Greg Alba. I'm John Humphrey. Happy Valentine's Day to y'all. Yeah, we're gonna spend it apart in a couple hours. <laughs> so there was this uh, video called Conviction, an anthem trailer from Neil Blomkamp. So this is actually Woo. released on the Oat Studios page. And uh, a while back, we actually covered a few of their short films. Mm -hmm. They let us do it. That was, uh, that was one. Those are awesome. If you haven't seen any of the Oat Studio yeah, short films, they're amazing. Stuff out. So I'm very excited to check this out. I've seen a couple of the anthem trailers. This game comes out in like a week or something, right? Yeah, like, the 22nd of February. I'm excited. And because mm -hmm. of Tyler Haig, might be able to buy it now. PS4, baby. Yeah. Or I'll just wait to see what everyone else is saying about it. Either way, I'm excited to check this trailer out because it's Neil Blomkamp's, you know, and, and looking at the aesthetic design from the game trailers, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, Neil Blomkamp's style totally lends this itself will be to a, this. Yeah. A fruitful synthesis, <laughs> I would predict. <laughs> Anywho, let's check this out, John. Let's do it. Conviction? <laughs> Title? God damn. Money people spent and 
sell a video game. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, when, when they spend that money wow. on stuff that looks like this, I, I am okay by yeah. that. <laughs> I think for a like a video game trailer or something to help promote a video, like what is this? It's just for a video game, right? It's what it seems like, yeah. Yeah, like this is, from the description of this, it says that it takes place it's decades before, before the, the game, events yeah. of the actual game, so setting up for the world that we are going to set foot into. If the game's a hit, it'd be pretty sweet. If the if the game's a hit, and then Neil Blomkamp is like, is slated to movie. direct a live action movie. <laughs> that would be cool because already from seeing video game trailers, mm -hmm. the gameplay and the cinematic ones, hopping into this, I'm like, this looks like everything I've seen already. Like it looks yeah. like a hundred percent like what I've already seen, which is awesome. <laughs> awesome. Everything is awesome. So it's showing that if they want to make a live action, if the game's a hit, Neil Blomkamp's the only one who should do it. All right. <laughs> yeah, he's, he can realize this world dazzlingly. <laughs> he might not get his follow up to District Nine. He might not get his alien reboot if this game's a hit. Neil Blomkamp should be doing the live action movie right away. Okay. Oh yeah, well I mean and in general I, I feel like Neil Blomkamp would be one of the shoe-ins for somebody who could make a great video game movie anyway even if it's not an Anthem movie you know, like yeah. I feel like in this pursuit because there will be more and someone's gonna crack it, I feel like he can make a pretty stellar video game movie that also you know, clearly is made by somebody who likes games. Because that's True. what's partly really cool about this is like I know that dude's a gamer but also this is so cinematic and so impressive Impressive, just as like a feat of filmmaking, <laughs> and his his style and aesthetic is perfect for this because totally. you know there are times where you could watch something and go, oh, this looks just like a Neil Blomkamp thing, and this felt more like no, he's bringing the Anthem game to life, and less like there's of course you got your Neil Blomkamp touches throughout, but it feels more like he's honoring the Anthem game. It and, definitely yeah. lends itself t towards his style, I think, because you know Neil Blomkamp seems to love you know high tech stuff, but in really scuzzy kind. Kind of run yeah, down situations yeah, yeah. and environments and a lot of like the battle scenes is especially in this trailer made me think of him but i do yeah, like he doesn't like those like sleek looking machine gear he likes like you know yeah. oh, they, these people had to just weld this shit together yeah it's exactly the dirt and the mud you know, you know yeah. these look functional but in a way that's also like cool and sci-fi yeah, yeah, yeah. and kind of strange and, and yeah like I, I like his design sense but it's also neat in this trailer to get some different color palettes that i'm used to seeing him work with you know you've got yeah. these beautiful beautiful green like you, you have a varied world here so you've got these scenes in the bazaar that are very tangible and very down to our version of earth which is an interesting place to see him work but then you have these sweeping shots of these huge landscapes that look almost untouched by people like this mm -hmm. is a very broad trailer in terms of settings as well I, you know? I guess my question though is in terms of context I'm really specifying that for a trailer helping to promote a video game this is great yeah. Now, if this was an actual trailer for a live adaptation movie, I'd be a little concerned. I would because I, would I feel like the story elements feel like ah, uh, a lot of the shots, you know, the ah, uh, and the yeah. dialogue look a little bit, you know, generic and cliche. If this was oh, we made a live action movie. Yeah, full length. I mean, I mean, it looks like great visuals, but you know, the, the, the story and the characters don't look all that great. But for in terms of the context of this is just to promote the video game, this is awesome, you know? Yeah, totally. <laughs> I mean, if this was a movie, I, I yeah, would just need more sequences of like some character interaction. Yeah. And like something that doesn't look so generic. Yeah, yeah. And, and I don't get the sense that for this, you know, they needed yeah, to. They need to. It's yeah. got a lot of trailer dialogue, but I think that's appropriate here. But in the same breath, I do agree. Well, if this was an actual movie, yeah. you would want want character yeah, stuff and some proof that it'll be cinematic beyond uh, visual translation. Well, trailer dialogue is the perfect word for it because I'm pretty sure they wrote this for a trailer. For a trailer, yeah. They didn't exactly. write a whole thing and then make a trailer out of that. Exactly. Like, so exactly. uh, that's why it feels that way with some like generic trailer lines and, you know, emotional trailer generic moments. <laughs> but you no, know, it's still storyboarded well and, and, and the visuals are great. I, I still feel like even despite that comment aside, if they were to make a live action movie, Neil Blomkamp should be the guy to do it. Oh yeah, man. I mean, he can he can realize worlds like this like it's no. And, and I like his character work too. But both you and I are the ones who like we even really like Chappie, you know. Yeah, yeah so man. we like his character. We, we do like his character work yeah. a lot. I'm yeah. waiting for somebody to let him off the leash again. You know? Yeah, man. <laughs> it's about time. I love what he's been doing with Oat Studios and everything. I do too, man. I always. Yeah, but I want to see another to... live action. I want to see a full length, a feature you know? film. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, really it's been bummed a long time since we've seen it. Because yeah. they tried to crowdfund Firebase and it didn't pan out ultimately. But I keep looking forward to the day when we get another feature length
length Blomkamp joint. Because, yeah, I've been really in love with what uh, he's just the mission yeah. of what Oats is, really. And before we wrap this video up, I would like to give a patron of the day shout out to a man named JT. JT, the man from where? Hawaii. Exactly. My he, he, he. Homie. A while ago, he messaged me about how they were um, going to have an anthem demo going on, and uh, he sent me a link so I can participate in it. To which I so did. Dude, I you played the shit so out of that. took advantage of that. Thanks. That whole week where I kept Thanks. being like, Greg, we got to shoot. What are you doing? Stop playing You're this like, anthem demo. Nay, JT's pledged, and he asked me to do something, so I am a slave to his request. You are one of my favorite people in the world. I love talking with you about movies and shows and don't worry man i am sending a level b prostitute to your place you gotta talk the video game lingo level b <laughs> then you have to you have to like acquire enough items complete enough missions then you can upgrade to a level A prostitute and might even be able to give your own custom name to her. Is this prostitute giving you the missions? Or, no, or, no, no, no. Or is she part, of, part the of the rewards? Oh, I see. You know how, like, in video games, like, you get vehicles or horses, and then you could upgrade yeah. for them? So is it the same prostitute but better? Or, or We don't have time for this, John. <laughs> it's Valentine's Day. Subscribe to the Reject Nation. Go make love to level C prostitutes while you can, JT. Check us out on... You know what? This video is done. Bye.